Can Cowdy come over? My cute little sister asked me this while we were having dinner together. I responded with a big no face. Huh? Why do you have to make that face? But Kaori... Kaori, who Shizuka just mentioned, is our school celebrity. Her name is Kaori Fujimiya. In a nutshell, she's a super friendly, beautiful girl. Whoever she's talking to, whether that be a person she hasn't met before or even an introverted nerd, she can have a fun conversation with them. This makes her one of the two most popular students, along with my cute childish sister. Why would I not want her at my house? Here's why. She's super annoying just to me. Why don't you go to Calvary's house? But she said she wants to come here because she hasn't been here for a while. She was here a bunch of times a few years ago. Isn't that enough? Hmm. Ugh, don't look at me like that! Pretty please? Ugh, okay. But tell her that I'm not home. Why? I don't want to see her. That's mean. Cowdy feels sad because you always avoid her, you know? But the way she talks to me, she just teases me and enjoys it. <clears throat> and why are you the one pouting? You just don't understand girls' feelings at all. Hey, what was that? I didn't catch it. Nothing. Anyways, I'm telling Cowdy she can come. As she said that, she started typing something on her phone. I was just looking at my little sister, thinking of how to avoid Calvary. Yuya! I know you're hiding! Just give up and come out! <laughs> <sighs> Here we go. The bright, energetic voice coming from downstairs was starting to give me a headache. And... Come on, senpai! Your cute kohai is here, so come out and play! Cody, maybe you should knock? He, he might get angry. If I knock, he'll lock the door. I, I don't think so. Actually, yeah, he might. Shizuka? Your brother has never done such a thing! I couldn't help but grieve over the fact that my sister didn't believe in me. Why isn't Senpai home? I was able to hide under my bed as the door opened. So luckily, Calvary thought I wasn't in the room. But that was a close shave. Hmm, his shoes weren't at the entrance, so maybe he left while I went to pick you up? The reason my shoes aren't at the entrance is because in the worst case scenario, where the entrance is blocked, I can still escape from the window. Therefore, I brought my shoes in the room with me. It wasn't intended, but a very fortunate misunderstanding. Hmm, it's only Senpai that avoids me. He's only being shy because you're cute. No way! He got really angry when I hugged him the other time. Well, that's probably because he's shy, too. You came here to check your size for the school festival outfit, remember? Come on, let's measure you up. It seems as though the reason Kaori came here today was to measure her size for the outfit they're making for the school festival, which was coming soon. Shizuka is good at sewing, so she probably agreed to make Kaori's outfit or something. I'll measure here. What? You want to measure here? Please, Shizuka. Huh? You can't do that. I mean, what if he comes back? Yeah, what are you going to do? I'm already here, but... It's fine. It's Senpai's fault because he ran away. He can come in to see an unjust girl and be embarrassed. In that case, I think you're the one that's going to be embarrassed, Kaori. I'm going to make Senpai blush! But that wasn't the point of this. I guess it can't be helped. No, Shizuka! It can't be helped! No! Don't go! I saw Shizuka walk out of the room and started to feel very anxious. And then... <sighs> there we go. What? She's actually getting undressed? I'm causing you trouble again, Shizuka, aren't I? This is all Senpai's fault. Huh? I don't get why you have to do this all in my room! Stop blaming everything on me anyways! Why doesn't he realize how I feel? I've been approaching him for like three years now. What? I'm doing my best to show my affection, but how can he say that I'm just teasing him? So he starts avoiding me and now he's ran away? I can't believe him. Huh? Calvary's acting a little unusual. What the? 
Why doesn't he understand that I love him so much? <gasps> Shit! Huh? What was that? Was it... Did she realize? This is no good. What would she think of me? Peeking from under the bed? It was her fault that I ended up in this situation, but... I couldn't think straight with this bizarre stuff happening. But then... Hmm, maybe I'm imagining stuff. Maybe Kauri didn't notice the sound. <sighs> that was close. Well, that's what I thought. It's nothing. Right, senpai? Ah! Is it me or is Kauri, who I thought didn't realize I was under the bed, right in front of me? I see. I should have checked under the bed. Kauri? I... Uh... This, uh... Uh... Hey, senpai. I guess? I won't say anything about you seeing me naked. Because it's my fault. So she claims. But unfortunately, I couldn't see her naked. I could only see her legs from underneath the bed. And she's currently hiding her body with the clothes she took off. But, uh... That's not the important thing right now. But what do you think of eavesdropping on a girl's love confession? But uh, that was your fault as well. Can you say the same thing to Shizuka? Uh, Shizuka really hates dishonest things. She's actually a very sweet, kind girl. When she gets angry, her smile freezes the atmosphere. And she's incredibly scary. To be honest, she's scarier than my parents. Whatever happens, she can't know what happened earlier that I was under the bed. What do you want? Wise decision there. I want you to go to the school festival with me. What? Go to the what? How did that reaction come out? You were listening to my feelings earlier, right? And that's your reaction? How thick-headed are you? Thick-headed? But, I mean, like, anyone would panic if a girl asks you on a date. And your answer? Yes? Okay? Alright? You just ignored me and gave me the same three choices? Huh? I can hear my brother's voice. Shizuka! You're back! Oh, so you're back too? So you got back while I was getting the cosplay outfit that I made for Kaori. Cosplay outfit? I thought she just went to go get a measure to see her size. And she didn't say anything seeing Kaori like this. She can be a little off sometimes. What were you two talking about? Oh, um... Gah! So, she's waiting for my answer! I could tell the Kauri was ready to change her stance if I had the wrong answer. I now had no choice. We were, um... Uh, talking about seeing the school festival together. <gasps> wow, really? That is nice! <laughs> if you say so. If you insist that you'll go with the school's number one idol, I guess I don't have a choice. She's having fun now. I'm happy for you, Cody. Thanks, Shizuka. Looking at my cute little sister and her best friend, the school celebrity, I was thinking about the soon approaching school festival and what to do about it. I guess Shizuka would be super mad at me if I didn't go. And on the day of the school festival... Sorry for making you wait, senpai! Oh, it's fine. What? What is this outfit? What do you mean? It's the one that Shizuka made for me. Why are you dressed like a cat? Why? I thought you liked this kind of style. What? What? No! I, I, I don't care about animal outfits or ears or any kinds of those stuff. Senpai, you're panicking way too hard. I said it's not like that! But you have lots of adult books where animal-like girls get played with, right? What? Why? How? Duh! You need to find a better place to hide your stuff, senpai. Inside your wardrobe is like screaming to be found. You went into my wardrobe? When did you sneak into my room anyways? No, it wasn't me. Shizuka found it and told me. Shizuka! Duh! My sister knows my sexual preferences. I can't live with that. It's all right. Shizuka said it can't be helped because he's a teenage boy. With a smile. That's tougher. I don't want her to understand. My pride is a brother. Oh, well, don't worry. Why don't we enjoy the school festival? Are you 
really gonna dress like that? Do you not like it? I thought it was cute, but... Um, well, um... You see, I don't know where to look. <laughs> you're thinking of lewd stuff, senpai. Well, you're the one that's dressed like that! Well, Shizuka designed this, so I'll tell her that. <sighs> okay. I take it back. I'm the one to blame. Mm, Shizuka really is your weak spot, isn't she? Well, she's scary when she's angry. I can actually relate to that. Come on! We've been here forever! Let's go! Oh, okay. I got it. Don't pull so hard. So, we decide to go to the shops that many classes were selling us stuff at. <laughs> mm, this is good, isn't it? Kauri was eating a crepe with one hand and holding a tapioca tea with the other. My eyes were locked onto her happy face. Was she this cute? I mean, I know she's cute, but... Huh? What's the matter? Uh, nothing. You've, uh, got cream on your face. As I was staring at her, she suddenly looked me in the eyes. So I quickly looked away and pretended nothing happened. Um... Where do you want to go do next? Hey, Yuya-senpai? Uh-huh. Ta-da! Tapioca challenge! <laughs> uh, don't spill everything on me, senpai! You're the one that said something funny! What are you saying? Don't you know the tapioca challenge? Isn't that from ages ago? Well, you see, I, Kaori, can even make trends. That makes zero sense! But see, everyone's doing it. Oh my god! Everyone is doing the tapioca challenge! <laughs> how influential are you? Do you now understand how popular the person who likes you is? Oh, so you want to go in that direction. Why not? Aren't you happy? You could do with a little more of a smile. Why are you so pushy? The fact that I thought Kauri was cute may have been a one-time thing. Kauri was making an unsatisfied face right next to mine. It's because you won't give me any of your attention, senpai! I need your attention! You get all cocky when I do that, though. What's wrong with that? I'm surprised you can be so open. Well, it's you. I can say anything and get away with it. Oh, yes, senpai. Let's go and see the love confession stage today. Oh, pfft. That school festival tradition? I'm not interested in others' love confessions. Come on, let's go. It's a tradition. Hmm. Oh, I remember Shizuka saying she might enter the show. Or something like that. Shizuka? Confessing her love? Who? Who is it? Well, I wonder... You're not gonna tell me, are you? You can find out for yourself if you go to the love confession stage. Hmm, you have a point. Okay, I'm gonna ask the bastard what he's doing trying to date my sister. Senpai is such a protective brother. Towards the end of the school festival? I was tricked into going on the love confession stage. I love you! Oh my god! But even as the show progressed, I couldn't see a sign of Shizuka anywhere. I can't see Shizuka anywhere. Did she really say she was going to confess love? I said I just know that she was wondering whether to enter or not. By the way, I don't know that the love confessions actually succeed at a good rate. Well, yeah, I guess people are walking on air because of the festival. And it's also possible that the atmosphere makes it difficult to say no. I mean, I'm a normal high school student. Isn't it natural for me to think like that? I see. Oh, looks like the next one will be the last one. Even while talking to me, Kauri didn't miss the MC's words of a final challenger. She really can do anything, which I do envy. Looks like it. Hey, wait! What are you doing? Hey, what's with that smile? Don't tell me. Please don't run away today, senpai! Wait! I tried to stop her, but she headed straight to the stage! I couldn't stop sweating looking at Kauri! Okay, everyone, this is our last contestant. And for this big finale, we have Miss Fujimiya, our school celebrity! Hey, everyone! Kauri here! So tell me, Miss Fujimiya, does that mean that... Of course! I'll confess my love to the person I really like!
Yeah! yeah! Kaori's words fired up the audience. Kaori opened her mouth with a very serious expression. I've been in love with him since junior high. I used to be a stupid, nasty student. The senpai I met then properly scolded me for doing the wrong things and protected me in times when I was suspected of doing something wrong. You nowadays say that I'm annoying and avoid me, but if I'm in trouble, you always help me out. I love you! Yuya Kaido senpai, please go out with me! As Kaori said that, all the attention was now on me. But I didn't expect things to turn out like this, and I couldn't move. Come on, Cody's waiting for you. Shizuka! But I... Uh, I... I'm sorry everything happened so suddenly. I know you're not ready, but I think now you get that Cody is serious about you. She doesn't need an answer right now. I just want you to confront her feelings. Shizuka! Shizuka made me realize that I hadn't confronted Cowrie at all. I heard Cowrie's feelings under the bed, but I didn't think much of it even until now. I realized that I needed to do something about this, so I slowly started walking towards the stage. I never thought you would have done this much. Senpai, I'm serious. I get it. Well, I got it might be more accurate. Senpai? I'm sorry I didn't address your feelings. Now, I truly understand how you feel. I want to think about it properly. I might not be able to give you an answer right away. But I'll think it through properly. So, would you wait for my answer? <gasps> yes! I couldn't give an answer, as I didn't have a clear decision. But Kaori seemed satisfied once I told her that I would address her feelings. Of course, some of the audience members weren't happy with that answer. But I'm not doing this to entertain the audience, so it didn't really bother me. I promised that I would never betray the girl that told me her true feelings. Even though I had been running away for so long. My name is Toma Hasegawa. I'm an introvert that has never had a girlfriend or a friend before in my life. However, when I became a second year in university, I was finally able to get a girlfriend. Hey, Tomo. I want this. Oh, this? But I just bought you a bag last month. Oh, I'm sick of that bag already. I want a new one. Uh, okay. That's right! My first girlfriend ever! And I didn't know at all that it takes a lot of money to date a girl. Thanks to that, all of the money I saved up for my part-time job has been decreasing rapidly. Well, it can't be helped. I should work more. Uh huh? You have a girlfriend? That's right! <laughs> Are you jealous? I happily reported the news to Hiromi Mashiro, a friend of mine in class. He was my only friend. And I didn't have anyone else to brag to. By the way, he always sat in the back of class too. And I think he doesn't have any friends other than me either. <sighs> what, are you upset? Well, I'm sorry I left our single and lonely club. And who is this girl? Saika Yamakawa. From the same club as me. She told me a little while ago that she'd let me date her. Oh, uh, Sayaka Yamakawa, I see. Hmm, she's so late. It's now past 6 p.m. It was already our meeting time, but my girlfriend was nowhere to be seen. I had reserved an expensive restaurant that day upon Sayaka's request. I is she ditching me? It was already such an expensive restaurant for me to afford. It would be terrible if she didn't show up. 6.30 p.m. Oh, there you are! Sayaka, you're finally here! Yo! Huh? Why is Hiromi here too? Wait! Why are you two holding arms? Oh yeah, I decided to go out with Hiromi! What? So, can you cancel the reservation for today's restaurant? <laughs> See you then! But wait a minute! That's so sudden! Why? Did I do something that made you hate me? Oh, it's not that I hate you now. I didn't like you from the beginning anyway. You just seemed easy to handle, so I thought I might use you a bit. That's all. What? Dear homie, you're, you're kidding, right? You would never take someone's girlfriend, would you? Well, I guess you had poor judgment. I trust in you! 
Hiromi is so different from an introvert like you. He knows what girls like, and he has money, too. So, that's how it is. See ya, Tomo. Wait! We aren't finished talking yet! Is this... possible? Hmm? A notification of reservation cancellation? It's so I could do that? So I don't have to worry about the cancellation fee, then. I guess... This is the only good news I have out of this situation. Uh, I'm going home. I just wanted to leave this place as soon as possible. Shit. What a terrible Friday. I lost my friend and my girlfriend all in one night. I wish I could just disappear. Hey, you! Gentleman over there? Hmm? What's wrong? You look like you're about to die any time. What's up with this girl? Why is she talking to me suddenly? Well, ugh, whatever. I don't have the energy and heart to talk to anyone right now. Did something bad happen? Hey, hello? She's so persistent. <sighs> what is it? Oh, you finally replied. Huh? Uh when I took a good look at her, she was quite cute. Wait, I was just dumped. What the hell am I talking about? What do you want from me? Oh, my name is Mihiro. I didn't ask. I mean, you were walking around with a real tired face, so I got a little worried. Well, thanks. So? So? What happened? <sighs> Nothing. My girlfriend dumped me, that's all. Oh, we're the same then. Mm hmm? Hmm, it just so happens that my boyfriend that I was living with cheated on me. He, um, dumped me just now. I just ran away from home a little while ago. Uh, oh, I see. Coincidentally, she and I were in similar circumstances, having both been cheated on. Although that made me feel closer to her, it was a terrible reason to feel that way. Well, it's perfect then. Let me sleep over at your house. What? It's okay, right? We were both dumped. Let's make each other feel better. I have nowhere to go, you know. That, that's too sudden! Okay <laughs> then, let's go. Uh, wait. <laughs> Let me heal your heart scars. What? Uh, wow, it's cleaner than I imagined. Thanks. As a result, I ended up bringing her to my house after she basically forced me to do so. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's wrong? I feel like I've met you somewhere. Uh, what? I didn't notice while we were walking down the dark streets, but I feel like I know her face from somewhere. Uh, no, 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 no. You're just mistaken. Is that so? Well, I guess it's my mistake. I would have never forgotten such a beautiful face like hers if I had met her somewhere before. Whoa! <laughs> what do you think? You're great at cooking, huh? Right? Eat up then. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> it's like we just got married. <laughs> Stop saying weird things. Here, I'll feed you. Say ah. It, it's okay. Th this girl is... is... No matter how similar our circumstances were, it was strange how she was so pushy and confident. I wonder why. Phew. I'm coming in! Whoa! <laughs> were you waiting? I wasn't waiting for anything! You're lying. I know you were expecting something. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean? You're letting me sleep over, so I should thank you properly. Hey! Get out! Here, I'll wash your back for you. Uh... Should I wash the front, too? It's fine! <laughs> she, she really... What is this girl thinking about? Phew, it was refreshing, wasn't it? Uh... I was nowhere near refreshed. Rather, my head was getting cloudier and cloudier. Oh yeah, you only have one bed, right? Mm hmm? 
Yeah, of course. I live alone, so... Uh, then let's sleep together. What? What? If you get too close to me like that... <laughs> the bed's so small, I can't help it. <gasps> well, you don't have to tangle your legs with mine. Thank you. For today. Uh. <laughs> Good night, Tomo. Yeah. Good night. This is crazy. I can't believe I'm sleeping in the same bed with another girl after getting dumped by my very first girlfriend. <sighs> oh, wait. Did I introduce myself to her today? Good morning. Go Whoa! Ooh, th th that surprised me. Oh, yeah, that's right. I had her over at my house since last night. It was such an unreal day. And seeing my circumstances now in the morning, I guess it wasn't a dream after all. <sighs> I'm still sleepy. How long are you planning on sleeping? Wake up already! But it's Sunday today. <gasps> right! A Sunday! It's our day off, so we have to go out. Huh? Come on! Hurry up and get ready to leave. Time is ticking! <laughs> this is just so sudden. <laughs> Do you have other plans? No. I didn't have any plans, but... Then it's decided. Let's go! Okay. Fine. Where shall we go then? We've got a problem. Honestly, I was already short on money for the month. Even though she's excited to go out, I can't take her anywhere special. Oh, it's such great weather. Oh, let's go for a walk at the park. Huh? Oh, the wind feels great. Yeah, the park. Is she okay with a place like this? Well, I guess it's okay. It doesn't cost any money either. Oh, hey, look over there. They're a couple too. Huh? I know. Let's hold hands too. What? Come on, all the couples are holding hands here. We'll stand out if we don't. I don't think we have to worry about that. Oh, whoa! There we go. <laughs> Let's go ride the swing and play like we're kids again. Oh, okay. Whew. That was quite a bit of exercise. I'm tired. Hey, aren't you hungry? Want to eat soon? Uh, oh no. This is not good. Currently, in my wallet, I don't have any big paper money. I don't have enough to eat out. Mm, then let's go there, okay? Hmm? Thank, Thank you, you for, for the, the food. food. I love the mixed grill here. A family dinner? Uh, are you sure this is okay? You can come here anytime. Huh? Uh, what's wrong, Tomo? You weren't hungry? Um, are you having fun, Mihito? Uh, you're not having fun, Tomo? No, it's not that, but we went to the park and then a family dinner. It isn't anywhere special, and I was worried if you're okay with something like this. <sighs> what is it? I don't know what in the world made you think like that, but... What's important isn't where you go, but who you go with. Uh, who you go with? Huh? That's right. I'll have fun anywhere as long as I'm with you, Tomo. <laughs> She's really something different. It's only been one day since we met. I didn't understand how she could say this much about me. And me, too. I was just dumped by my girlfriend the other day. How can I fall in love with someone else already? All right, I'll see you around. Huh? I have work tomorrow, so I'll go back to my apartment today. Oh, but what about your ex? Oh, uh, uh, it seems like he just left the house already. I have to clean my things, too. Uh, you know, I just ran out of the house last night, so... When I thought about it, it was only normal. We couldn't suddenly start living together permanently. But somewhere inside... I felt like life was going to go on like that. So I'll leave for today. Mihiro! Mm-hmm? Um, we will meet again, right? <laughs> we'll see about that. <sighs> I want to meet you again. Tomo, 
You might say my feelings have changed too easily, but I I'm in love with you, Mihiro. Uh <laughs> I won't say anything like that, because I think I fell in love with you first, Tomo. <sighs> then... But for today, I must leave. See you again, Tomo. Wait a minute. I don't even have your number. <laughs> It'll be fine. We'll meet very soon, okay? Oh, uh, okay. She liked me too. Ah, uh, we'll meet very soon, huh? I wonder when that will be. Ah, uh, I can't concentrate at all on my lectures. Oh, there you are, Tomo. T Sayaka! I'm sorry about the other day. Hey, want to go on a date today to make up for that? Why all of a sudden? What happened to Hiromi? Uh, I would never date a guy with such a terrible personality like his. After that incident, he said to me, I would never date you. Did you think I was for real? I was only messing with you. He said that. Can you believe it? H Hiromi did. Hey, I'm sorry. I was wrong, so take me out on a date again? Don't do it! Uh. Tomo, you don't have to go out with a girl like this. She's only thinking about using men and getting them to do things for her. You're way too good for her. Huh? What's wrong with you? You're the one who ripped us apart, and now you're giving me a lecture? <sighs> First of all, what right do you have to say that? Unfortunately, I do have a say. Huh? Uh. Tomo is my boyfriend. I won't allow other girls to lay a finger on him. Yeah, yeah, you're a... You said something about how I understood girls very well, remember? Of course I understand them. I'm a girl myself. And you must be really stupid to fall for someone without even realizing whether they're a girl or a guy, huh? Uh, what? Well... You're only thinking about how to use other people's money. It's only natural your brains don't work properly. Uh, uh, uh. Um. What? What do you mean, what? According to Hiromi, guys were hitting on her from the first day of university. She found it so annoying that she decided to dress up as a guy. With that, she was able to avoid such situations. I didn't necessarily mean to fool you. It was just that I found life easier dressing up in boy clothes. I liked you this whole time because you were nice to me no matter what kind of clothes I was dressed in. Oh! And yet, you were so easily fooled by that gold digger girl. I, I couldn't help it! I never had a girlfriend before in my life! And you had such a beautiful girl next to you this whole time. Way to be modest! Apparently out of jealousy towards Sayaka. You know, started investigating her. During the process, she only heard bad rumors about Sayaka and decided to put this plan in action. Hmm. What? What is it? If I hadn't come in time, would you have gotten back with her? Of course not! I only have eyes for you now, Hiromi. Oh! <laughs> okay, then. Wait, didn't you say you were living with your boyfriend? Huh? Of course, that's just a lie. And <laughs> Jeez, that's why you didn't even realize I'm a girl. Ah! So, I started living with a blonde punk in the same class. <sighs> Sago. She's calling my name in her sleep. Unexpectedly cute. Why did she suddenly suggest sleeping in the same bed, though? Hit him! <coughs> Ouch! No, I take it back. She's not cute at all. Why the hell am I living with her again? So, since I'm about to lose consciousness, I'm going to try and recall what happened half a year ago. My name is Seigo Kamishiro. I'm in the second year of high school. I work hard and have good grades, but I've had a scary look since I was small. People around me seem to be afraid of me, calling me Mr. Kamishiro. So, basically, I'm just a loner. But recently, I have a new problem to deal with. Hey you, with the dirty look? Are you messing with me? I was born like this. You got a problem with that? Rika Ryugu, a blonde punk who's in the same class, apparently has a problem with me. We always just glare at each other, and it's never escalated into a fight, but I really want her to cut it out because it's getting annoying. One day I was called into my dad's company. So, the thing is, my company is about to go bankrupt. <laughs> And you're laughing about this? 
it was pretty clear that the company was in trouble. Kamishiro Co. was founded by my great-grandfather and has been in the family for three generations. Now, its future is at risk and my dad is joking around. But don't worry, Sego, I found someone that could finance us here. Hello, Sego. I'm Ryugu. <laughs> uh, he looks really dodgy. Hello? This man says that he's a private investor, but why is my dad introducing me to him? I decided to provide one billion yen to your father's company under one condition. Uh, and why was I called in? I'm going to ask you quite frankly. Sego, do you like girls? Uh, yes. Okay then, we're settled. What is? The one condition for the loan is that you marry Mr. Ryugu's daughter. Oh, I see. Wait, say what? Then Mr. Ryugu went to explain the backstory. My daughter is now 17, the same age as you. She's not a bad girl, but she... But she lost her mother at a young age, and it seems like I've spoiled her too much. It's too sweet to her. It's like pouring honey and condensed milk on sponge cake. Uh-huh. So now she's super naive, and I'm a bit... I'm honestly extremely worried about her future. So I wanted to settle quickly with someone reliable around her age. I see. Isn't he just trying to get rid of her? I've asked her to come, so she should be here any minute now. Just as he finished speaking, the door of the president's office was kicked open. Hey, old man! What do you mean I have to get married? Huh? Rika Ryugu! You! Seigo Kamishiro? So, Mr. Ryugu's daughter is the blonde punk from my class? Oh, uh, no way! Absolutely not! Oh, so you guys know each other! And you guys share the same vibe! <laughs> How amazing! Your new house has already been taken care of! It's in a high-rise apartment, five minutes walk from the station. No, 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 this can't happen! Why do I have to be with this blonde punk? I don't want to be with this nerd with a nasty look either. But hey, our company's in trouble. Isn't it great that you're getting such a cheerful, energetic girl as your wife? Mika, honey, I'm so sorry, but daddy needs to go abroad for a while, so, uh... Mm. Ugh, these idiots! They don't give a damn about their children's future. Also, Mr. Ryuku, your change of attitude is too drastic. I can't keep up. Just like that, our crazy parents practically forced us into an engagement. We were told to live together until we turn 18. On the first day of living together... So, uh, my idiot father is saying that once he pays back 2 billion yen to your father, we'll probably be allowed to end this relationship. What? Who knows when that's gonna be? Yeah, worst case, the company just collapses. Thanks to that useless father. I already know for certain. I can't stay with her for long. So, first, let's set some ground rules for living together. Huh, <laughs> rules? No way. My way is the right way. Are you from Power Rangers or something? So, after twists and turns, we set some rules. We will share house chores. Also, no one's supposed to know that we're living together. But the next day, I reconfirm how challenging this is going to be. You're supposed to be cooking today! I don't do house chores. We've always had a maid. Oh, useless! So you're just a sheltered girl that can't even look after herself! Huh. <laughs> don't you underestimate me. I can cook! Just you wait! If you can cook, show me now! And the result was... Uh... Is this dark matter or what? No, you dumbass! It's an omelet! An omelet? Are you trying to kill me? Just shut up and eat it. It'll probably be the first and last time you'd ever get to eat something a girl has made for you. Well, yeah. It will probably be the last time I ever eat anything at all. And so, I ate it. But, mm, it's actually quite good. Told ya. I had to use two packets of eggs, though. <laughs> so you can cook after all. <laughs> I don't mind having this every day. <sighs> Suddenly, I was in total darkness. Then I saw Grandpa standing in a flower field on the side of the river saying, Don't come this way! The next morning, I woke up in bed, but I had lost memory of what happened after coming home from school the day before. Only later on, I learned why I had lost my memory then. But after a week, things started to change. Hey, Rico, where's my laundry? Our laundry would usually be separated, but this time she washed mine with hers. I was doing mine, so I thought I might as well do yours, too. Oh, really? Thanks. Hm. Uh, <laughs> my shirt turned pink, though. What kind of a joke is this? It's a color switch up, you fool. It's like characters in fighting games changing colors. <clears throat> uh, thanks for nothing. 
but I knew I shouldn't get mad at her for something she did for me. So, well, anyways, I appreciate the fact that you tried. Uh, yeah. And even her cooking, which was so bad I actually once blacked out, started to improve gradually. Huh, quite a neat omelet. Isn't it? I only had to use one packet of eggs this time. Okay, let me try one. Gross, why'd you spit it out? What the hell? It's sweet as hell! Uh, well, we were out of sugar, so I used condensed milk and honey. We don't need crazy creativity with our food. Thanks. What kind of chemical reaction did you expect from that experiment? Don't eat it if you don't want it. I... I'll eat it, because I don't want to waste. Poultry farmers and hens, thank you very much for the food. Well, it's not inedible if I think about it as a dessert. By the way, I hear that living together is sweet, but this isn't what they mean, is it? Since my physical and psychological well-being was under threat, I started to teach her everything I knew about doing chores. You see here? Cooking, washing, cleaning, even though Rico is clumsy, she started improving little by little. Oh, uh, hey, your hand. What? Um, nothing. Although a punk, she's not a bad girl, it's just that she's a bit clumsy and awkward. After a month, I started getting used to our new life. Rika covers a lot of chores now, and I was freed from worrying all the time. Here you go, your lunchbox. Huh? It makes better sense financially. I just stuff leftovers from last ones. Uh, thanks. In the beginning, I really wasn't sure about him as a person, but... Huh? Hey! Are you lost? Good boy. Let's find your owner. Wow! Oh, wow! Oh. Is that Sega? How come he has such a gentle look on his face? I'm so sorry that Tato is bothering you. I had him on a leash, but he escaped. No worries. Hey, Taro, get back to your owner now, okay? Maybe he's not bad after all. Why am I getting butterflies in my stomach? What's wrong with me? Something was up. Rika suddenly started being more enthusiastic with the house chores. She started studying how to cook. Also, she used to hate washing and cleaning, but she actually seems to be enjoying it now. Um, did something happen to you? Nope. What happened to her? What's more, she even started to care about me. You must have stiff shoulders from studying so much. I'll give you a massage. Oh, you don't have to. Don't worry about it. Here! <laughs> but her grip strength definitely needs to be adjusted. Also, when bathing... I don't mind washing your back once in a while. You really don't have to. Don't worry about it. Here! Her arm strength also definitely needs to be adjusted. Is she really trying to take care of me, or is she just taking the stress of housework out on me? Uh, lying on my bed, I thought about Rico. Something's really up with her these days. Then, after a quiet knock on the door, she came into my room, very thinly dressed. Are you still awake? Um, look at how you're dressed. Uh, is this a night attack? At least say I'm night walking, you fool! She actually had something to talk to me about. Hey, so you. do you still hate living with me? I'm usually a loner, both at home and at school, so life with her was actually not that bad. Although definitely less peaceful. Could have said that I hated it, but somehow I hesitated. Maybe I really didn't mind my life with her now. Not that I hate it, what about you? I'm actually fine with it too. We continued speaking after that. She told me that we shared the same background and that she also usually felt lonely at home and at school. She once hung out with some bad friends, but that didn't help in getting rid of her loneliness. She only looks like how she looks now because she saw punks on TV a long time ago and wanted to look like one. I actually like the life I have now. I might even be enjoying it a bit. Uh, oh, really? We might really end up married like this. That might not be bad, actually. Really? N uh, no. Forget I said that. Um, if so, why don't we start thinking about expanding our family? You know, rather than just the two of us. Huh? W what do you mean? I've always wanted one. Wanted what? All you need to do is give me a green light. Hey, 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 wait a minute! We're still students and... Uh, I'm, I'm so far from being resourceful or accountable for something like that! So, after a few twists and turns, we came to an agreement. Then... 
<laughs> so cute. I've always wanted a dog. I'm so glad our apartment accepts pets. Well, good for you. So this is what she meant by expanding family. Huh. So, what's his name? You name him since you bought him. Okay then, Monsaku. Huh? What the hell? My grandpa's name. You have, like, absolutely no taste in naming dogs. With a new family member, I started to feel like we could actually start having fun living together. Eventually, our relationship develops. But more on that another time. When I got home from drinking at midnight... Huh? The door is open. What?! Why is Chief Kazuma lying down in my entrance hall?! Um, Chief? This is my house. No sign of waking up. Chief! Pull yourself together! Huh? Hayama? Yes. It's Eita Hayama. Oh, Hayama. What were you trying to do with me while I was asleep? <laughs> I wasn't going to do anything! Please, just wake up and don't hug me! No, I want to feel you more. She's so drunk. I need to do something about this. I'll... I'll do lots of lewd stuff on you if you, you don't wake up. Please, do me. Um, I was only joking. Why is she so up for it? At least sleep on a bed! I want to sleep with you. You sleep here with me. I want you here. You sound like a child! I can't, so please, let go! I was struggling to get her, Mika Kazuma, my boss, to let go and sleep, and... I fell asleep next to her. <laughs> uh, where am I? What did I... Huh? Why is Hayama sleeping next to me? <laughs> did I do it with Hayama? What have I done? What? What are you... Uh, poor boss. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> Don't catch them all! Uh, huh? Where did my pork buns go? How do you think you are sleeping? Oh, Chief. Good morning. Ouch. Yeah, so you were just lying in my entrance hall. R right I see. So, nothing happened. I'm so relieved. But why were you here anyways? How did you get in? Did you pick the lock? I don't have that kind of skill. No, it's your bag. What? My bag? Wait, did I? Yeah, after we went drinking yesterday. Come on, Hayama. Let's go to the next place. Oh no, Hayama forgot his bag. Hayama went home earlier. He forgot his wallet and his keys. He must have been very drunk. I'll call him then. It's ringing in the bag. I'll go after him, so you guys go ahead. And so, I looked up your address that was on your insurance card and came here. And I got into your house, but... The boo started to kick in, and I... <laughs> that must have been rough. Better luck next time. The way you say it is annoying. Whose fault do you think it is? But thank you, Chief. I'm relieved that nothing happens to you. What do you mean? I'm a guy, so I'm fine not being able to get into my house. But you are a lady, so you need to be careful where you walk around at night drunk. Yeah, I'll be careful. I know. Why don't you take a shower before you go home? As an apology. Why, thank you. I still smell a little like alcohol, so that would be nice. I have my sister's clothes that you can borrow. Your sister's? She comes and stays sometimes. Do you want to borrow her underwear as well? No, thank you. Why am I sharing at his house? I can't remember anything after coming here, but I hope I didn't do anything weird. But anyways, that was very embarrassing as a boss. I need to be careful not to drink too much again. It's already lunchtime, so I might as well make something for her. I think I have some stuff I made in the fridge. I wonder if my boss is showering at my house. I mean, I'm the one that offered her to shower, but... Eita, would you like to join me? 
Okay then, I'll wash your back. No, 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 no! Don't get delusional, that's not happening. She is the last person that would ask me that. But I didn't know that she would make such a sweet voice. She's always so strict, so... Maybe she likes being sweet. She is a beautiful woman, though. I wonder if she has a boyfriend. She's usually like... Hayama, did you review this business plan properly? Yes, I looked through it. Don't just look through it. You have to check the numbers if they are correct and make sure that there are no typos. She is beautiful and has perfect proportions. Plus, she performs excellently at work. She's way out of my league. I, on the other hand, always make mistakes and always get told off, but... Come on, let's go check the details together. You do that one. Thank you, Chief. She is strict, but kind. She is good at taking care of people. H Hayama, thanks for the shower. Oh, I just made lunch for... <laughs> Jesus Christ! This might be... a little small. <gasps> Hayama? Shit, shit, shit! I want to stare, but I shouldn't! But I want it, but I shouldn't! I'll uh, also take a shower! Oh, okay. I made lunch, so please have it! All right then! That reaction... I bet it's because of this body. I wonder if he's grossed out because I gained some weight. But he did make this for me, and I'm hungry, so... Oh, it's really good! Hayama is a really good cook. 20 minutes later, she was washing the dishes when I got out of the shower. Oh, you didn't have to, you know. Please, you let me stay the night and even made me lunch. I didn't know you were such a chef, Hayama. Oh, well, I used to work part-time in a restaurant, so... Girls are attracted to guys who can cook, you know. Oh, really? <laughs> you bring your own lunch, but do you make those? Yeah, to save up. That's great. I wish you could apply that to work. <laughs> I thought that your girlfriend was making your lunch. I... I don't have a girlfriend. Oh, you don't? What about you, then? What? Me? Yeah, you are attractive, so I was wondering... N not at all. I'm busy with work, and I don't have time for romance, so... Right. I see. I yeah. <sighs> Why, Why is it, is it so, so awkward? awkward? She later tried to go home, but... Wow, it's raining hard! It said in the forecast that it would get worse. Are you sure you can go home? Thanks for worrying. I'll be going. Then take my umbrella. Thanks. I'll see you on Monday. She left, but I was worried whether she could go home in this weather. But a few minutes later... Chief! Did you forget something? <laughs> Sorry, your umbrella broke. You're soaking wet. Please, get inside! Th thanks I'm soaked even though I just showered earlier. Why don't you take a shower again? It's fine. I can just wipe myself with a towel. Sorry for borrowing your sister's clothes again. I'm in trouble. I can't get home. There's a heavy rain warning. Apparently it won't stop until midnight. R right Midnight. If you are okay with it, you can stay here. Would that be alright? Yeah, of course. You can stay the night if you want. But but all of my makeup stuff is at home, so... Right? <laughs> we didn't have anything to do, so we watched a movie together. I've always wanted to watch this. Then let's watch it. Two hours later... <laughs> How wonderful! They do get together in the end after going through so much together. Don't you think it was great, Hayama? <sighs> you fell asleep? Oh. His sleeping face is so cute. I sometimes don't know what I'm feeling when I look at him. He's usually clumsy and childish, but sometimes mature and reliable. Why is my heart racing? I'm his boss! He is a cute Kohai, but... He is cute. No, ever since I woke up, I've been thinking about him! A little bit won't hurt. He's warm. I don't know how long it has been since I did this to a man. This feels good. He smells nice. He said he doesn't have a girlfriend, so this won't be cheating, right? 
I wonder what he thinks of me. He didn't do anything to me when I was drunk, but... Is he not interested in me? I always tell him off, so maybe he thinks of me as an annoying woman. I'm three years older than him, so I need to pull myself together. Maybe I've forgotten what it felt like because I haven't had a boyfriend since I graduated university. But I just want to be like this a little longer. Uh, what are you doing? Huh? No! This is, um, um, er, um... What do you mean, no? You were on my chest just now. I, er, uh, I don't know what came over me. I haven't spent any time with a man like this for a long time, so... R right This, this is, is very, very awkward. awkward. I guess you didn't like it, being hugged by a woman like me. What are you talking about? You're beautiful, kind, and you're the person I admire. You are a wonderful person. Don't. If you say any more, I will fall in love with you. Oh. But I'm glad you think of me like that. Huh? You know, I'm strict all the time, so I was worried that you didn't like me. Being strict is a good thing about you. That's why you are great at work, and I feel like I need to learn more from you. W really? Yeah. I want you to listen and not freak out, but... What is it? I want to be sweet and rely on people. Huh? Did you think I'm weird? That's the greatest thing ever! What? If you want to be like that with me, you're more than welcome! Um, really? If it's you, I'm more than happy. Oh, but you aren't allowed to be sweet with other guys, though! I only need you. So, we spent the night together. Half a year had passed since Mika started coming to my apartment. About us. I was wondering if one day, would you want to get married with me? Huh? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> we can stay like this if you don't want to. Don't worry. <laughs> I would love to. Let's get married someday. Really? Yes! <laughs> I might get even sweeter than before. Just kidding. So we decided to live together as our first step towards marriage. At work, we were like... Hayama, follow me! Hey, Hayama, what kind of mistake did you make this time? I don't know. And what's the matter, Mika? I wanted to hug you. I told you, not at work, remember? Just a bit, alright? This is our little secret. When should we tell everyone? I think I want to enjoy this secret a little longer. I'm Aoi Nanami. I'm in 11th grade. I was a pretty normal kid. I had friends, I got average grades, and played sports every now and then. There was nothing special about me. Did you watch the anime last night? I didn't have time. What? I told you to watch it! Actually, there was one thing that was kind of special about me. You're talking about anime again. She had such pretty brown hair. She looked great in her school uniform. She had a bunch of scrunchies on her wrist. She was pretty to begin with, and now she was starting to wear makeup making her even more pretty. What's wrong with anime? It's none of your business! Just stop being so loud, okay? I don't want to hear about your anime. I've been saying this for a while now. Her name was Rika Kusunoki. She was one of the popular girls in class. Lots of guys liked her too. And the thing is, I've known her since we were kids. Not everyone has childhood friends like this, so... What? I wasn't being loud! I... Hey... Sorry about him, guys. Thanks for being friends with him. STOP IGNORING ME! Of course! No problem! <laughs> she was pretty and nice to everyone. No wonder she was one of the most popular girls in class. She was nothing like me. I was just an average Joe. We lived in completely different worlds, but she always talked to me for some reason. Rika! Leave me alone! What? You looked lonely. I was just trying to look out for you. What? I was talking with my friends. You blind? Just go away. Hey, don't talk to her like that. Yeah, watch your mouth. Wait, what? Me? Whenever she was around, everyone took her side. Then... They're right, you know. That's why you're still single. Plus, your face. You trying to piss me off? No worries, though. I know you're a nice person. 
That's it! Let's take this outside! Rika was always teasing me. I think she enjoyed it, too. That's probably why she was always talking to me. Maybe I should just ignore her. But I've known her ever since we were kids, so... I kind of feel bad. Plus, she has too much power over me. Ah! I'll get her back for this! Someday! But there wasn't much I could do. Ah! Why am I such a wimp? Oh, relax. You're always so mad. That's probably why you don't get any girls. Shut up! You're blushing. All I did was pat your head. You're so cute. <laughs> ah! Rika kept patting my head. My friends looked jealous. I was so embarrassed. I gotta get her back somehow. After classes were over, I walked home with Rika. She lived in the house next to mine, and everyone from our families knew each other. So we always walked home together like this. Rika, can we stop by the bookstore? Sure, as long as you're not gonna buy one of those light novels again. What? It's my money. Why can't I- I just don't want to waste time, okay? Then go home! You're a guy. You're supposed to walk me home. Ah! I guess she was right. That's why you're still single. You gotta treat girls better than that. Girls? But you're- What's that? Nothing. I'm sorry. You should be grateful that you get to walk home with me. What? You're the one that's always asking me to walk you home. I should probably start charging for this. Don't push it. Why the hell would I pay you for this? I'd rather walk home alone. Alone? You sure? Yeah, I got friends too, you know. Sato, Yamada, Tanaka. Oh, right. Your buddies. Cute. Got any female friends, though? Didn't think so. She was always teasing me like this. I've had it up to here with her. She's always giving me a hard time about being bad with girls. But wait, maybe I can just lie to her and say that I have a girlfriend. Maybe that'll shut her up. I came up with a really good idea. In fact, I do. Huh? Stop lying. I'm not. I got a girlfriend, okay? I held up my chest and tried to look confident. This should shut her up. Then... What did you say? Uh-oh. She looks mad. You being serious right now? Uh, crap, crap. Uh, yeah, of course I am. What's she like? Uh, uh, I didn't know what to say. I didn't have a girlfriend. I didn't know what to say to her. Maybe I can just come clean right now, but she looked pretty pissed. But if I keep lying to her, I think I'll just piss her off even more. So I decided to lie again. Uh, she's the quiet type, you know. She's pretty, though. Oh, I see. So, she's nothing like me, huh? Was she jealous or something? I couldn't tell. What should I say? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> she looked really upset. I had no idea why. Fine, then. Introduce me to her. What? No, oh, um... What? What's wrong? She looked pissed. And I don't think she believed me. I was starting to sweat. Uh... Uh, I'd love to, but she's a senior, so she's really busy, you know? College exams and all that. Fine. Show me your room, then. You got pictures and stuff, don't you? Uh, no. Because she doesn't exist. No worries. If I look at your room, I'll be able to tell if you're lying or not. Girls terrify me. Uh, my room is really messy today, so if I show her my room, it's game over. I have to keep her out of my room at all costs! I don't mind. I've been to your room many times. It's always messy. But, uh... You're lying, aren't you? Fine! Come to my room! I don't care! No! What have I done?! It just slipped out! Damn it! She's gonna find out that I'm lying! Okay then, let's go! Now! Uh, take your time! I'm gonna clean my room first! It's okay, really. No, it's not! Then I ran off. I gotta do something quick! I need something that'll make her believe my story. Maybe I should steal something from my sister's room. Or maybe I should just come clean and apologize to her. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I was just trying to show off. No need to keep lying about this. All right then. As soon as she arrives, I'm just gonna come clean and apologize. I'm sure she'll forgive me. I think... 
I decided to come clean about everything. But then... I found a girl sleeping in my bed! Not sure what she meant by that, but I took a deep breath. She was so pretty. Her hair was so beautiful. And look at her. They're so big. Her chest moved up and down as she slept. Wait, I've seen her before. She's one of the prettiest girls in our school. I think her name was Kaede Satomi. Why was she in my bed, though? I had no idea what was going on. What the hell is going on? I was so confused. Then she woke up. Uh, oh, you're home. What? Were you waiting for me? Huh? Satomi, why are you in my room? Because uh, I was sleeping. What? None of this was making sense. I gotta do something before Rika sees this. Just get out, okay? Please? Aoi? Yikes! I turned around. Rika was here! She looked pissed! I was starting to sweat like crazy! What do I do now? So, Aoi, who's that, huh? Uh... Uh... Wait, is she...? Why was she so mad at me? I gotta say something... fast! But what? I didn't even know why she was here! Why was the hottest girl in school sleeping in my bed?! I turned around and looked at Kaede. I guess I'll just have to ask her. She looked at both of us, then she said, I'll handle this. She gave me a thumbs up. Oh, thank God. I think everything's gonna be fine. She'll straighten this out. Relieved, I turned around and looked at Rika. She still looked pissed. Rika, listen. What? See, here's the thing. But then, Satomi grabbed my arm and said, Hello, I am Kaida Satomi. I'm Hayoi's girlfriend. Wait, what? No! So, you weren't lying. She looked furious! I've never seen her this angry before! Hmm. Yeah, we're in love, right, Aoi? What? No! What do you mean, no? You said you had a pretty girlfriend, and here she is! She was sleeping in your bed! Stop lying! Oh, Aoi, you're sweet. Thanks. Oh no! There's no going back now! What do I do? Ah, uh, so who are you? Are you his friend? Yeah, I've known him since we were kids. Oh, okay. Saw he was cheating on me or something. Phew! Huh? Rika was furious! She was glaring at me! I was really scared! But when Satomi grabbed my arm again, I felt kind of relieved for some reason. Uh, uh, think, think. Why are you going out with someone like him anyways? Um, cause I like him? How is this any of your business? What? Because, because it is! Uh, how so? Because, because? I've known him since we were kids and, so what? Uh, say something, Aoi! Huh? Me? Yes, you! Hey, what do you want to do today, babe? What? What was she talking about? Uh, uh, I don't know! Aoi! Yes! Aoi! Yes! Is she really your girlfriend? What? Well, not exactly. Rika looked really upset. She was almost about to cry. I can't believe you'd go out with someone other than me! How could you? Rika said something, but I couldn't hear her. But she didn't look angry anymore, she just looked sad. It kind of felt good. I mean, she teased me all the time and now I was getting back at her. No, no, that's mean! Hey, Aoi. Huh? Uh, uh, hold on, I can't think right now. How long do I have to keep pretending to be your girlfriend? Huh? Huh? What did she just say? Rika and I were pretty confused. I thought you wanted me to pretend to be your girlfriend. Huh? No, I wanted to know why you were sleeping in my bed. Oh. Yeah. I see. 
I was waiting for your sister to come home, but I felt sleepy, so I took a nap in your bed. Oh, so you're my sister's friend. Yeah, sorry, I was really sleepy. So, turns out she was a friend of my sister. Sorry, hope you don't mind. It's cool. Thanks. Oh well, I should probably go downstairs now. Bye! Okay. Oh, sorry for the misunderstanding. Then she walked out of my room. That was... thrilling. I had no idea what to say to Rika. Satomi was a guest, though. Maybe I should offer her some tea or something until my sister arrives. I should probably head downstairs. But when I try to step out of my room... Hold it right there! She grabbed me from behind! My shoulders hurt like hell! Uh... yeah? I hate liars! Uh -huh. But to be fair, I was pretty mean to you all these years, teasing you and all that. Oh, okay. So, I understand why you did this. I'll try to take it easy on you from now on. Good to hear. I was glad to hear that. Looks like she finally learned her lesson. But for some reason, I was still nervous. The way she was grabbing my shoulders? Something wasn't right. But... But... You scared me! Why did you lie about this? I'm sorry! I really thought she was your girlfriend. I thought I couldn't hang out with you anymore. You really scared me! Later, Satomi came upstairs to check on us. She brought us some cake. I was still busy apologizing to Rika, though. The cake tasted bittersweet. Aori, what did you do to Kaede? Oh, nothing. She just... nothing. The next day... Hey. What? Why did you get so mad yesterday? What? No reason! But I don't get it! Even if I did have a girlfriend, how does that affect you? I just don't see what- Just shut up! Okay. After that day, she stopped teasing me. But I still didn't know why she got so mad at me that day. Oh well.